Oh, yes, pick me. Will it... Since that day you saved my life, I have presumed I knew you. But now, a thousand letters from your father go unopened, yet one scribbled from your sister changes everything. I didn't even know you had a sister. We are broke, old pal. We can't afford a passage back to your old world, back to your family. Not unless you suddenly remembered what work is. Dynamite fishing? You're serious? <laughs> well, the village north is always short on food. Remember when we escaped the pits back when? Still some dynamite. Must be plenty of fish in this bay. Here it is. Uh, just get plenty of... Di Don't look at me. Dynamite was your idea. Must be plenty of fish in this bay. They're not expecting Queen Parrotfish. Anything with fins will do. All the blistered fish they could ever want. Oh, what the chimichurri was that boom? All the blistered fish they could ever want. Ah, that burnt reek. Here are your tickets. Hurry, drifters. The boat is leaving soon, and nobody wants you to miss it. So, this is it. We're leaving paradise behind. You never talk much about family and the like. But you're dead serious about this, aren't you? No matter. I made a vow to defend you. And I don't break an oath. Even if a blind man could see you leap into the deepest pit of dung. I have never asked anything of you, Firstborn. Not when you stole away a tiptoe, leaving the family burden at your little sister's door. Our father Lord, is accused of high treason. Dare you to believe it? Will you now stand I by, knowing gentle father is indungeoned? Exactly. It must kill him. Please come home. We need you. Is it really you, dearest sibling? I never dared hope you'd return. Do you remember Bright Sands? Of course you do. We loved it here. It's changed now. The Royal Council support Uncle Edvard. Father barely cold, and he's pulling everything down.
leave those houses. You never said how wealthy you were. Why were we selling fish and sleeping in barns? Never told your friend of good and sons. There is much to be said, but not now. Dear father's funeral begins. Where have you been? Without you brats, we'll never be done with this obligation. Looks like death claimed the wrong brother. No matter, so few are here, when they are the few he loved most. Nobody likes a traitor, let alone his tainted offspring. Better make yourself scarce. We shall, dear sibling, for now. I have acquired a small island with the last of my funds, and passage for all still loyal to father. Together, we shall clear his name, or die trying. Your sister reminds me of you. Must mean new adventures await, old pal. This is it. Ditch water. End of the world. I hope you like it quiet. What? Still here? Establishing a rival company on that disheveled island? Let Uncle Edvard scoff. A modest island, yes, but if you're at all like father, you'll look beyond appearances. We must shelter the good, loyal people who have shown solidarity with our family. Do you remain here out of spite? Or is this some futile attempt at competition? As you are so desperate to appear responsible, you'll be pleased to hear the cost of that fantastical funeral falls to you. Miserly, uncharitable dastard, picking and choosing what he inherits. You reached a new milestone. Slander, Edvard, Prince, and Bright Sands. Samuel's child, is it? Thank heavens. I am so ashamed of every single word your uncle had me print. He twists every article in his favor at our and father's expense. Father wouldn't have wanted us to sit on our hands while our one prospect was in such a state. So let's gather our townsfolk and ask them to spruce the place up. Morning is eased, now we have others for company, sibling. It's been a hard day of labour for us all, 
We should cater to our tired, hungry people. You reached a new milestone. Help enough to demolish the larger ruins. Let's breathe some life into this place. It's been a long, hard day. The people need to rest and maybe wet their whistles. Timber, very good. I'll try not to think of the coffin.
Whatever you do, Master, keep doing it. Feels an eternity since the funeral. And the cost! Oh, why, it was extortionate. Repay me now, or sell up. I feel sick to the stomach that Edvard could ask so much of us so soon after Father's death. You will not spoil my plans with your tardiness. When will you show your... I shouldn't ask. We've all we've ever wished for. Fancy making A while the sun shines, Master? Up with a lark this morning, I was. Your people are recovered and desirous to proceed. Set them to it. We're going to need as much space as we can clear. Ready to repay my charity? To our humble cousin. He writes of a worker riot in Bright Sands. It seems we are not alone in our contempt for Edvard. You will not spoil my plans with your tardiness. We'd rather die than stay. Our flags still wave for Samuel. Let Edvard oppress us no more. A life away from Edvard, we're on board. Only, we've no ship to get on board of. If you pick me, you may have my boat. It's my poor aunt's legacy. Her second husband was a decent sailor. Ready to repay my charity? Don't think you're finished, brat. To meet our patron is utterly humbling. If there is anything I can do, anything really. Everybody on board? Good. I, I, I shiver at the thought of staying. What? Has your cleft of the family no shame that it now resorts to abducting my workers? The Queen's ambassador himself shall hear of this. Abduction is a severe accusation. And if I may, uh, excuse me, a false one. We left Edvard quite willingly. Pencil-polishing Popinjay. I should have been rid of you long ago. 
I see nothing criminal. A bit of interfamilial bickering is only natural, <laughs> and hardly a matter for the crown. And as for you, I have quite forgotten my manners. Sir Archibald Blake, ambassador and confidant to the Queen. Despite the circumstances, Her Majesty and I were pleased to hear of your return. Your father's death was a tragedy. We regret he never had the chance of a fair trial. The real tragedy here is the vast funeral bill that goes unpaid, while this brat is living the life of O'Reilly. Sadly, your uncle has indeed alerted me to some uh, floating liabilities. I fear you have no choice but to settle them if I am to grant you your crown shipping license. Edward registered the debt officially. Don't worry. That old tyrant can't hold us back anymore. Indeed. Once my letterpress is up and running, the truth will come back to haunt Edvard. Uh, for your hospitality, please use my ship howsoever you may wish. Now that sounds like good news. As to the debt, my hands are tied, but it may warm Her Majesty's heart to see a new enterprise taking shape. Maybe Edvard will try to prevent us owning a shipyard, but for now, let's at least house those workers. Tell me you've managed something. With several passionate young reporters enlisted, our publishing house is already well underway. Workers can handle stubborn debris on Ditchwater. If it's to be the center of our new enterprise, it needs to be immaculate. Tell me you've managed far, far, black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Four bags full. Our dream of a shipyard is impossible without plenty of qualified hands. You reached a new milestone. Looks fair, but there's mold in the walls.
You made a sow's ear of it. editorial section is sure to grow along with your city. We are fine-tuning the first issue as we speak. What kind of town don't have a warehouse?
You reached a new milestone. You have father's fortitude. These people will follow you as they once followed him. Your worthless rags have barely covered anything. Now, bring me sails. It's not like you have any use for them. Clearly, Uncle's intention is to keep us from ever owning a shipyard. Hurry, damn you!
I doff my cap to you. Run out of cabins. Sure, the governor's here. Don't tell me I've missed another appointment. This city... Show your family some gratitude. Where are my sails? Nothing you do will lift the cloud. Haven't seen a prison transport of mine, have you? If you do, be sure to return any salvage to me. Every ship needs...
on every street corner in no time. I know you're busy, but I've a favour to ask. I'm only a cog. It's you what pulls the levers. So then save us from a grievous injustice. Edward's charges against us are pure fabrication. The man is an imposter. A letter. It bears Edward's seal. Don't even think about sheltering Samuel's co-conspirators. Deliver them to prison at once and I might lift your debt. Open the letter. He's clearly up to no good. However much we despise Uncle Edvard, it's criminal to go opening his private correspondence. Hurry, damn you! are those father trusted most? Barristers, doctors, academics. Even I am astonished he could be this corrupt. We must put their cases before the highest authority and hope for a retrial. He certainly knows how to silence his critics. Will you, boss? Will you work your magic for us? What we do so love to see. Spill the sauce. Not bad for a big boss. What is it you are bringing? Oh dear, uh, best leave these poor people with me. I will tell Edvard that the debt between you is quite settled. That was none of your business. And what right has the Crown to meddle in my accounts? What right? We are, all of us, quite moved by your selfless actions. Your father would be proud. I am so relieved our legitimacy is no longer in question. Know that any assistance may influence Her Majesty's sphere. Righty ho!
Ah, yes, the bright young sapling. More flexible than you imagined. A royal acknowledgement is due. We take the stuff without a warehouse. No less than we deserve.
customs and excise, eh? Ah, you're ready. That really is first rate. We've only a skeletal work gang. expecting me to go easy on you.
Life's a grey smog. Workforce shortage. If we meet again, I show you a fine time. I start with nostrils and an eider duck feather. My life is my prison. It's a surprise inspection. An empire covers... A fire broke out.
I shall keep the receipt. Workforce shortage. has been back. Her job. Endless ratty days. Flourishing. A competitor raised a settlement.
a competitor raised a settlement. We lack the requisite materials. Why not share some of my daily hell with you? Patience is the most underestimated of the virtues. I hope you find it illuminating.
don't worry. I won't hold a grudge. Stand to attention for the bus. It's all how you're born, isn't it?
Our city's historic first shipyard. We must document this moment in our first edition. snapshot to illustrate history in the making. The start of, if I dare presume, a most fruitful partnership. I've just returned from my expedition. I'm Benta Jorgensen. Chair Lady of the Jorgensen Foundation.